The Justice and Correctional Services Minister, Michael Marsuta, has approved the placement on full parole of Ferdinand Barnard, with effect from the 2nd of April 2019. This announcement was made by the Department of Justice and Correctional Services on Thursday, the 7th of March 2019. Barnard was sentenced to life imprisonment in June 1998, after being convicted on numerous charges, including murder, attempted murder, defeating the ends of justice, and unlawful possession of firearms. He has served more than 20 years of his sentence. One of the two murder charges was in connection with the killing of an anti-apartheid activist and Wits University academic, Dr. David Webster, in 1989. Webster was shot and killed at the behest of the Apartheid Police's security branch, the Civil Cooperation Bureau. In reaching the decision, Masuta had satisfied himself that Barnard had met all requirements for parole, the department said. As part of the consultations, prior to finalizing his decision, Minister Masuta personally engaged with Ms. Maggie Friedman, Dr. Webster's partner. After raising her concerns with Minister Masuta, Ms. Friedman indicated that she had no objection to the placement of Mr. Barnard on parole. According to Masuta's spokesperson, Max Mpulzana, the Civil Cooperation Bureau misinformed Mr. Barnard and told him that Dr. Webster, a pacifist, was involved in terrorist activities. The South African Press Association reported in 1998 that Barnard had pleaded not guilty to 34 charges, ranging from murder and attempted murder to fraud and intimidation. The charges also included the attempted murder of the late Justice Minister, Duel Omar, in 1989. Webster was shot dead on the 1st of May 1989, outside his house, in Troyville, Johannesburg, which he shared with his partner, Maggie Friedman. His shooting in broad daylight shocked and horrified the human rights and anti-apartheid community. An anthropologist by qualification, Webster had also been studying the effects of torture on detainees during apartheid, as part of his broader studies. Masota said that this decision does not mean the end of Barnard's life sentence. The Community Corrections Office will supervise and monitor him as he serves the remainder of his sentence in the community for the rest of his natural life. Please check in the description box below for the links to the sources of this report. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe.